Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1! I am so excited! I literally can't wait. I'm actually going to do like a few days together for Vlogmas Day 1 um, because you'll see why. I want to make sure that it's a good first day of Vlogmas with lots of things in it. Um, so I'm gonna prep and film and obviously when I'm filming this it is not the 1st of December but when you're watching this it's the 1st of December so I'm actually gonna be I'm gonna be so naughty I'm gonna do something so naughty which could be at my own detriment but I'm gonna open my advent calendar day one today so we can do it together but don't worry I'll wait until the we're actually in December for the next ones but I just thought first day of vlogmas we gotta open up the advent calendar together isn't that right banks um but we've got a festive day in store today I'm really excited I'm going to see Elf the musical with my friend um she asked me back in August she saw it and she was like Grace this is a bit of you um and I thought you're not wrong there. You are not wrong. So I need to start getting ready in a minute because I'm going to go up to London to watch it. We're also going to go to Sticks and Sushi for lunch. I'm going to get ready now. I don't know what to wear because it's freezing. kind of want to wear this denim jumpsuit I have, but I know that it's cold on the body. You know, like when you wear denim and it's just the thought of jeans. Oh, no, heck. Couldn't get me in jeans right now. You couldn't. Ooh, a little skirt with my little red jumper. I think that's perfect. Wow, that didn't take long at all to make that decision. Sometimes you're here for years. And then other times, you just find it straight away. Or do I go for my leather trousers? Oh no, I've opened up a can of worms here. I can't mark out if I want to go fun with these guys, because the red and the red match could be fun. Or do I just go boring, yawn, black converse that I wear all the time? I mean, it's Christmas. If you can't wear your festive shoes at Christmas, thank anyway. Festive shoes. In December, I like to change everything over because I feel like I start on my Christmas jumpers, everything is festive, my socks, my pants, literally anything that I can make Christmassy, I make it Christmassy. Um, apart from perfume, I feel like I need to get a Christmassy perfume, and every December I can wear that perfume, and then every December, you know, when you like smell it throughout the year and it just reminds you of Christmas, you know how scents do that. I feel like I need to do that, but for now, we're just gonna go Viva La Juicy right here. I actually have no idea what Elf the Musical is going to be like. Brows, eyelashes, and I just need to put my earring in and we're ready for Elf. I'm also going to moisturise my hands because I always forget to do that. And right, it's time to hit the road to go and see Elf and get some sticks and sushi in my belly. Um, so I had Elf last night and it was so much fun. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really, I went in with kind of zero expectations, but it was really good. Um, the set design was incredible and I really enjoyed the songs and the music and the dancing. Um, I was apprehensive at the start because I didn't love Santa. I didn't. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, it felt a bit panto y at the start, but then it got, I got into it and it was really good. Um, and Sticks and Sushi, Sticks and Sushi have changed the menu and changed from what I normally get, which was a bit of a bummer. But anyway, we're up and at him this morning. Now, before I have my shower, I thought we could do my advent calendar this year. Now, it's an advent calendar with a difference. This is the 12 days of Christmas from Lush, and I was gonna get the full-blown advent calendar, but it was a bit too expensive. Um, whereas this was still expensive, but I thought because it's 12 days, it's literally perfect for Vlogmas, because we can open one every day on Vlogmas, and I can, like, we can do it together and see what it is. Um, and I just feel like it's so fun. So, let's do day one together and what is in here i don't know how to open it oh my goodness i'm so excited so let's do day number one what do you think it's gonna be i haven't even really looked at what's inside of it because i just want it to be a surprise i'm so excited this is so exciting i can see what it is and it's perfect for my shower i had a feeling it would be something that i could use in the shower it's a shower fairy shower jelly this is one of my favorite scents 
I love it. Oh my gosh, it's a fizzly Christmas. It's actually so like it smells like sweets. It literally is incredible. Well, that's a bit fun, isn't it? Day one of the advent is done. So it's a bit later on now, and I think I'm going to go into town and maybe pick up a little crafting activity. Maybe potentially a festive beverage from Costa. We'll see. I've done Starbucks and I was underwhelmed, but I have not done Costa. Um, so let's go and see what town has to offer. I've also turned in my room, it's spectacularly clean. You would have never seen it this clean. Oh, and Banksy settling. Are you settling down by the clothes? Yeah. Yeah, it looks so cute. Right, we're coming into Waitrose to have a look at snacks for a movie tonight. How yummy does this chocolate hazelnut pudding look? That looks so delicious. Tiny little reindeer. There's not loads of treats. Okay, we have found all of the treats. I'm gonna get this for dad because I feel like that's a bit of him. How cute is this little Santa's chocolate treat box? And the vanilla snowballs. There's actually some really sweet bits. <gasps> Faye would love that. That's a bit of Faye. Look at that. Look at that from the cinema, from a movie. This bar is so nice from Tony's Chocolate. <laughs> Licorice. <laughs> right, we're in the savory section, trying to pick our savory snack for movie night. Um, we've already got my favorite drink. I'm so excited. I actually haven't had this in ages. And I think I'm gonna put it in like a wine glass and a little bit of ice and like a wedge of lime just to really bougie it up. So what savory snack? I'm feeling salt, salted popcorn. Look, haagen have got a festive one. I flipping love these squishmallows. <laughs> They're so squishy. I love them. I used to love blow pens when I was a kid. Give me a blow pen and I was your girl. I literally love that thing. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We've come for Costa festive drinks. Look, we've got Terry hot chocolate and a Toblerone. That's so funny, you get a little chucky with it. Wow, look at that, that's beautiful. What's under this one? Is it the same? <gasps> wow, oh my goodness. That literally tastes like Terry's from Orange. This is literally delicious. I cannot recommend it enough. Fantastic. Right, we are back from our adventures into town. I have to say that chocolate orange hot chocolate, unreal. Absolutely fantastic. And I think Costa have won, won the day there um, because Starbucks was not it. And also you get like a mini chocolate with it. It was so good. I thought I'd just show you. My friend, right, her little daughter loves books. And I saw this in um, Paris and it was t really expensive. And it's normally 22 pounds, but I got an email from Amazon that it was reduced to six pounds. So I thought I had to get it. And I'm gonna just show you guys, because if you know anyone with kids, it's such a lovely idea. idea. And also you can reuse it year upon year. So this is what it looks like. I am worried that the, the books are gonna be really poopy. I'm really small, just like a leaflet. But let's just check before I, oh, this one. Oh, I see, okay. So not every day is a reading book. It is quite small and thin, actually. And maybe it's for slightly older kids. Um, but they have like, I mean, I as a kid would have loved that. It's a, like a little activity book. Let me see if there's actual book book. We've got a make and do monkey book. I thought it was gonna be reading books. Maybe I should give it to my sister to take to her. So she's got year twos and I feel like it's a bit more year two-y. And then each kid gets a book a day. Oh, that's a better idea. Good morning, everyone. It's a couple of days later. Um, and I actually slept so well last night. You know when I woke up early, yet I still felt rejuvenated from within. Um, and I am going to... I think today is... I'm going to make some Christmas cards. Because I love crafting. I really do, there's no denying it. I almost want to start a craft club because whenever I post these crafts, you guys love them too. So, tempted to do that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna make, I kind of want to make a pop-up and we'll just see what else the day has in store. I need to get up, get dressed, get ready for a wonderful day together. It is actually disgusting outside, proper grim bags weather. Um, so this is the perfect thing to do. But right now, 
I've gone on Pinterest and I've typed in easy Christmas cards to make. So, I think I actually did this one one year. It's like a fingerprint lights thing. I don't know, I'm not really feeling any of the ones I'm seeing. There's lots for babies, like lots of baby ideas. I don't have the size of a baby foot, like this one's really cute. Where they, you know, they use the um, a little baby's foot to make uh, a reindeer, like that. That's so cute, that. Um, but none of these are really doing it for me. This one's quite cute. It's different coloured cards. Um, and you could cut out so I could use you know when I did that made that decoration the other day I could use these Christmassy papers and cut out triangles and stick those on that one's a lovely idea She's taken newspapers cut um, like torn them to make a Christmas tree Or you could like find a book that someone really likes if you know someone that has a book they love you could like take bits from the book I'm gonna just I'm gonna make one. I'm just gonna see what the creative sense is bring to me my mom is literally the crafting queen look how many flipping christmas cards she's made she i kind of want to show you but i feel like they're hers on another vlog i can ask her to show you all of her little cards that she's made that's so cool oh my gosh we're doing that right now right flipping now i don't know how they've done that that's hang on i need i need to do this I feel like this is gonna blow some of your minds. So I have some cotton buds here, which I never use them because someone once said that if you put a cotton bud in your ear, it will do something to your ear and then it freaked me out a bit. Um, I think these are literally from about four years ago. And you basically, from what I can gather, you put your cotton buds around a empty toilet roll like that, load it up around there, and then you put it in green paint and then you do it like that and then it looks like a wreath. If you just line them up in a line and then put the sellotape down on top of it. Right, we have one round and I've just started a second round that I'm gonna go around. I don't know if you can see, but I've lined up all my little cotton buds. And then what you do, this is such a quick way. Think, think smarter, not harder. I just love finding little quick solutions. Sellotape them all down, put them round your little toilet roll, like so. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I feel like this is gonna look really cool or it's gonna look atrocious, I can't work it out. And then I'm gonna build up that bit a bit because I feel like where it goes on the hook, it needs to be a bit bunchier. I just act him in my element and I'm just crafting away. I don't know if it's because I'm like healing my inner child. I just loved crafting as a kid. I find it so fulfilling. And I feel like people always laugh at crafts and think they're just for kids, they're not. They're so rewarding as well because you get something from it. Okay, so I'm going to push this in to the green paint. That has not got all the paint on it. Go on it with the paint. <laughs> it doesn't look super amazing, does it? I feel like maybe I need to load up on the paint a bit. I feel like I can go in with some decorations, all right? So I'm just going to do a few more. It's quite satisfying because when you push the corn buds down, they make like a little popping sound. It kind of feels like I'm popping, popping bubble wrap. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not the best though. So I'm gonna go around it again, but like in a slightly different direction. See, when things aren't perfect, they look more beautiful in my opinion. What the heck, this is so much fun. I love it. <gasps> this is so fun. I'm having so, I feel alive. Ooh, that one's quite messy actually. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things that you could do with this. I'm making some paper because then I want to like cut out Christmas trees from it. Think smarter, not harder. Even if you're not a crafter, even if you think you don't have a creative bone in your body, I genuinely really encourage you to just have a go at an easy craft and see how it makes you feel. Because, and also to not put your pressure on yourself for it to be perfect. My mom held like a little craft night the other week and we did loads of different things. And people who were like, I've never crafted before, but I feel so alive. It just does something to the brain, I don't know what. Even if you literally do something and it's awful, have fun whilst you're doing it. I made these chocolate, no, these pretzel Rolos the other day, and they were so good. And I have some like little leftover chocolates from the gingerbread house right here. So I'm thinking of taking a cube and putting the cubes on the pretzels and then it'll just be like milk chocolate pretzels, which I feel like would be really yummy. I also have some stick pretzels, so I'm gonna look on Pinterest for a little um, recipe to use those up because there are so many stick pretzel recipes. If only the pretzels were chunkier because I could make those, how cute are they? 
Um, I also could make these, but I don't have round bits of chocolate. I only have the cubes. I suppose I could melt this and then blob it on, but that's just so long for man. So I have laid out my pretzels and I'm just going to break off a chocolate chunk and put it on each pretzel. Okay, I've added the chocolate and now they go into oven for literally five minutes um, at a low temp just to make the chocolate melt a little bit. I used to be so addicted to Reese's Pieces. These things, you, I, you couldn't tear away from me. Whilst they're, oh my goodness, whilst they're in the oven. Did you hear that Banksy meow? She never meows. What was that about? Are you being a bit attention seeking? Do you need a bit of love? Oh, you purring? Are you doing your biggest, loudest purrs for everyone to say, Happy Vlogmas! Happy Vlogmas! You know what's so weird this year? Oh, she's, where's she off to? I think somebody's going to go get food. I'd love to put a camera on Banksy one day and just follow her around and see where she goes. Okay, the sprinkles literally didn't stick at all. And I feel like the colour of Reese's has changed. They're not as vivid. Um, so they kind of look a little bit gross. I mean, they look very autumnal. See, this is what I get dubious about doing Vlogmas because I've literally been sat here the whole day just editing and it would be so boring as a vlog because I'm literally just at home all the time on my computer editing. This is literally it. This is me. But one thing I do need to do is I need to move my room around because I've got some black mold that's decided to show up. So I'm going to try and move things around because I think it's not helping that my bed is close to my window because then there's like a little air circulation. So I need to move my sofa out of my room so my bed can move over. But it's gonna take, it's gonna take some work. But I feel like we can do it together. And hey, what would a vlogmas be with a bit of a, without a bit of a room reno? You know, I always, I love moving my room around. I literally move it around all the time. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know what that means. Okay, so here's the sofa. I'm gonna somehow move it into the lounge. Um, because just for the time being, I feel like I need to get a storage unit for the sofa or something. How heavy is this gonna be? Oh, that's so fine. That is so fine. This is my little Christmas present stash down here for my family. Don't tell them. I really shouldn't have said that because I feel like one of my family members is gonna watch and sneak a peek. Like I'm in Vlogmas, I feel like I wanna show you all the presents that I've got for my family. I feel like that could be really fun. I have no idea how I'm going to get through this door. I think we're going to have to put it on its side or something. It's hard because there's nothing to grab onto because this is like a big rounded thing. But I locked myself in my bedroom and I can't get out and I can't get in. I was stuck in my room for a good few minutes there. I've somehow managed to get it out. And now I need to try and get it in the lounge but I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, it's safe to say I've bitten off more than I can chew. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I might actually just, I feel like I can end up getting it there. But I just don't know how to get it in there. We're at another crossroads. I've gotten to this point. It's standing up. I took the legs off, which I should have done at the start. Learning experience. But now it really won't come out. It's stuck. Every time I think that it's stuck, it's not. And then I get it out. But this time I think it's really stuck. I have managed to get the sofa here. My brother said he's gonna pop in today anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be like, can you help me? Um, and we're gonna try and move it somewhere a bit more manageable. But as you can see, the bed is here now. Um, and I have gotten rid of most of the black mold that was kind of around here. Um, but if anyone has any good hacks to get rid of black mold or like damp, literally, if you feel this, it like, in the morning it will have condensation on the actual wall, um, which is not good. I've had a little break from moving the furniture around because I don't know what to do. It's a real predicament. But I've been working on the little cards that I made with the wreath. Um, I've added like a little bit of red and green around here. Added a little bow and some holly, but I feel like this could have some jazzing up. What should I do? Should I add some like sequins to it or something? I feel like it needs a lot of jazzing up, but I don't know quite what yet. So I am going to, I think the dishwasher needs emptying. Oh heck, I haven't put the dishwasher on. Idiot, my idiot pants. I was supposed to put that on and I forgot. It's okay, we all forget things sometimes. Um, I am gonna make myself some lunch. I think I'm literally just gonna have baked beans on toast. There we go, baked beans and cheese. And Jessie is here <laughs> to help. Why, hello. I don't know why my cheeks always get so rosy. This is really 
It looks like I have an allergic reaction. I look like an actual elf. I am an elf. Ah, exposed. Um, it's just in the evening when I'm warm. They just get really, really rosy. It's really weird. It looks like I'm allergic. It's any time, seriously. If I ever, like, even if I'm not really embarrassed, even if we're just at the dinner table and everyone looks at me, flushed with red. I just get red so flipping easily. It's so annoying. Um, and particularly, like, if I go up to order a drink or something, red. If I go to the tills in the supermarket, I go red. It's so annoying, I don't know what happens, but hey ho, <laughs> it's life. Um, but that is the end of Vlogmas Day 1, I hope you enjoyed. Um, the room is finished, I think I already showed you, didn't I? But the sofa's gone, I'm on my bed. I love it, it does feel nice actually, it feels quite light and airy in here. Um, I'm excited for the next Vlogmas, I'm very excited to see what's going to be in our Lush box, in our Lush advent calendar. Um, <laughs> what's going to be lurking in there? I don't know but I'm buzzing my pants off to see. So, I love you loads. I hope you're good. See you on the 3rd at 5pm, because I'm going to be posting my vlogmases every other day at 5pm. Let me hear it. You're so good. You've got the knack of this. Anyway, love you loads. Peace out.